Now that we've gone ahead, we've built some groups, we've built out a nice 2D plan, I want to take a minute and talk about selecting and working with fixtures before we go build some presets. So in Onyx, as we discussed, we can go to our Groups tab. If we clear twice, clear out my selection. Go to my Groups, select Groups one or two at a time. I'll turn on Highlight. Deselect by pressing the group as well. We can also use the keypad to use the command line to select. So if we look at our fixture numbers visually here, for example, I could do one plus two. I could clear that and I could do one plus 11 plus 31. Or I could use the through as well, just like you might be used to. 1 through 31, enter. Once we have our fixtures selected, let's say go ahead and select our darts group again, we then can begin to work with our different parameters inside of Onyx. So the very first thing to do is look down here at our screen on the Onyx NX4 console. Down the left side, we have our different parameter groups intensity, pan tilt color, gobo, beam, beam effects, and also framing for fixtures that have framing shutters. When we select any of these parameter groups on the left, parameters are place, placed across our encoder wheels. There are also parameters that are always available no matter which parameter group we have selected. Those parameters are on the side encoders, and they are customizable, and also the intensity on the dedicated intensity wheel. For example, if I pull these out of highlight, I now have intensity control. And this is the basics of how we're going to work inside Onyx. Another example is to use the fanning inside of Onyx. So in this instance, I have pan and tilt selected. I can pan, but of course I'm going to tilt first. I can tilt, I can pan, and start to bring the, the fixtures into a nice pattern. When I want to use fanning, say here on pan, I make sure that I've selected pan. Now, selecting that particular attribute or parameter means that I'll see the, I'll see the light over the encoder wheel, I'll see a white box, on the screen around the pan. And if I pop up my encoder display on the screen, I'll also see it selected there. The selected, once again, is going to be the last parameter that you touched. And so that's easy to remember. For fanning, I'll go over to fanning here. And we see we have a couple ways to work with this. First, I can use my encoder wheels. That's going to fan across all 12 of these. Also, I have the visual display right here. As you can see, we can start to make something artistic. Perfect. That was fanning just pan. Now, there are a number of really great options available on the screen that I definitely don't want to gloss over. So in the initial setup, I'll press clear here. I've got mirror turned on on my options, two point. If I switch that to three points, it's now a little easier to work with fixtures that are hung in symmetrical ways. I can switch between a curve and a linear for my fanning, and I can make the two sides mirror, or, as I just did, I'm able to work with them separately. You can work either way with the fanning tool. You can work graphically, or you can work completely on the encoder wheels. Let's press clear twice to clear that out. We have another of, number of other graphical ways that we can select and work with attributes in Onyx. So if I turn the darts back on and I press that full, 
I can then go and say I'm on intensity. If I pop out this side view, I get on the screen a bracket that shows me all the different options. It's available on screen here, and also if I double tap on the small programming screen. If I go to color though, we get something much better. So we'll close the intensity, we'll double tap on our color, and we're going to see the color picker. Just tap on the color picker, and you can dial whatever color you wish. That looks nice. You still have the ability, while in the color picker, to work with the parameters normally here on the encoder wheels. So I might be in my color picker, dialing in a nice purple. And I decide, you know, I just want to tweak in just a little bit more blue. Rather than doing that on the color picker, I can do that here. Could be a little more blue. Could be a lot more blue. Perfect. Other attributes have graphical ways to bring them up as well. Let's go ahead and choose a gobo here in the darts. If I double tap on the gobos here, I'll then see a graphic or just the words of the gobo, depending on what's available in the fixture library. I can select the gobo I like, completely graphically, or via the regular encoder wheel. Perfect. All other attributes can be controlled in the same way. Selecting fixtures brings them into the programmer. We're able to modify different attributes. And then we're ready to begin programming things into our presets to build our cues. So let's go ahead and begin building our first presets.